The EMC, chapter one. Follow me. See, diagnosing tenth and odd doesn't take an act of God. Just a few easy steps makes you the man for the job. Step one, parasternal long, find the effusion. Step two, the IBC, when they breathe, what's it doing? If the fluid's backing up, won't be flattened and relax, and the walls remain static. Even the fatness in the hepatic vein can be dramatic. Step three, the RV free wall, you should be asking, is it actually collapsing when it should be expanded? And diastole, the RV wall is relaxing, and the fluid bows it in when tamponade is happening. So get your M mode and your parasternal long. Remember this technique and you'll never get it wrong. In the diastolic phase, the mitral valve opens. Front leaflet, it's a septum, then in systole it closes. So get your M mode and where does that line go? Over the leaflet and the RV, you gotta hit them both. And if the wall's bowing in when the valve is opening, you can tell your consultant tamponade is closing in or release a strong chance. So get your needle ready and if you haven't shit your pants, you can move to step four, but that's a little more advanced. Can be a bit obnoxious to know the physiology and be aware of the process. So remove your textbooks from under those old pairs of socks and unfolded pairs of boxes and open up to the page the pulses paradoxus and don't lose your pulses come on now you got this let's all go through it your boxing and your ventricles are pericardial fluid it creates a fixed space and when the heart can't expand the septum is displaced and which way that it moves right or left is just based on which phase of respiration that you happen to be in breathing in or out thou salve and a having a bm so what happens when you breathe in negative pressure sucks blood into the right then out bows the septum to the left and down goes your left side of feeling in systemic outflow then out goes your breath <sighs> upon expiration the pressure is changing left side of feeling increases so why this explanation well cause it's making all your echo skills better so let's review again and we'll go through it together breathe in blood in the right pushes the septum to the left breathe out lv expands and you take another breath breathe in lv shrinks and it fills up less breathe out it fills more and you can put this to the test cause you're an echocardiographer slash doctor armed with an apical form and a spectral doppler gate over the mitral valve use this is your window and if you detect 30 percent drops in the inflow upon inspiration well if you follow this should give you inspiration go and call your cardiologist just some information to polish up your knowledge with if in this situation you can straight up demolish it because all of this is just to remind you of the facts at the end of chapter one and after more to come the memorize is track just rewind it back this dr han signing off emc that's a wrap